I think we're ready to go. Anyone want to see the thingy? Um, I'm going to turn it on. Unlimited energy for everyone forever. <laughs> um, all right, guys. So everything's ready. Output's calibrated. We've upgraded the batteries pretty much as much as we can. Uh, we can upgrade it more if we had more supplies, but we don't have more supplies. This is the nuclear fusion reactor. Be careful. Be Whoa. careful. It's all very specific. Um, Whoa. <clears throat> Turn it right. on. Yeah, yeah. Come stand here and you can look into the Whoa. center. Well, I can Whoa. explain to you how it works. This is awesome. So here's how it works, actually. Okay, how um, does it work? This is an ender tank full of lithium, which goes into the rotary condensator, which turns it into lithium gas. And with the solar neutron activator, that lithium gas will turn into tritium, which only works in the daytime, which is why I have an extra chemical tank to stockpile the tritium so it can run at night, hopefully. And then you combine the tritium uh, and this right here, which is heavy water with an electric pump that goes into the electrolytic separator, which turns into deuterium or something and combine that in the chemical infuser to get dt fuel which is just deuterium and tritium fuel combined you put that into a whole rom whichever i don't really know how to pronounce that but the whole rom you plug into up here i plugged it in yeah. and then you go over here to the laser uh -huh. which has been charging for the better half of an hour i think it's been charging for just about two to three hours to build up just enough energy to start off the reaction with a laser blast so here's how it works. I'm going to put the stuff mm -hmm. in. Uh -huh. And then let me set the injection rate. It's at two, which is the minimum. And then you pull that lever. Pull it, Ryan. Pull, pull it. it, Ryan. You deserve to pull it as much as anyone. Pull you funded lever, this crunk. project. Pull it, Ryan. Honestly, pull it. The one on the this. diamond block over there. Yeah, really? Pull it. It'll shoot a laser on the left side. Pull it, Ryan. Pull it. It shot there the laser. It's happening. Quick, look oh, through the glass. <gasps> this would have looked cooler what? at night. Would have looked cooler at night. Yeah, but it doesn't work at night. Wait, is this working? Because of the because Run of the chemical. Um, how do I know if this is working or not? Uh, something something's working. Well, the laser's yeah. going into it. I... So now how do you now what? I don't know. I don't know if it's working or not. I... No, there's something happening in there. I, think I thought it would working. make noise. There's, there's Wait, it, it's box. working. There's yeah. a it's... box in a box. It's generating like 300,000 energy. It's crazy. Holy. It's generating like 300K. It's OP. I thought there would be louder noises, but well, let's all let's all come back at night because this will look really cool at night. So is this the bomb? <laughs> what? What made you think this was a bomb? Let's see how cool it looks, guys. Does it look cooler at night? Oh, look at that. I wish it was a little brighter. But that does look pretty cool. I don't know how this works. It does look really cool, though. Anyway, uh, fusion reactor, all set. Now, there is some way to get plutonium or something. Got to get that somehow. Turn the shaders off. Let's see if that makes a difference. Oh, wow, that makes a huge difference. Look at how cool that looks, guys. Wow. Pretty fancy, guys. Pretty fancy. Man, we should have had everyone turn their shaders off for the opening. Oh, well, too late now. Dang, shaders always ruining everything.